Hey guys, how are y'all? Um, today we're going to be working on a wreath for Memorial Day and I'm kind of running behind. I should have already had this done, but I didn't think to do it until the last minute, of course. So we're fixing to do a bow first for the wreath and you can see it behind me. I've got a wreath over there and I've got a piece. This will be what I'm putting in the middle of it. I got it at Hobby Lobby and it was $13.99. Um, $13.99 wasn't that expensive for me to do. So I went ahead and got it. And then I got my ribbon. And the colors that we're gonna be using is the blue and the red. And then I found that one that had the stars. And I got all these at Hobby Lobby. Um, this was $4.99. And the Patriotic was not on sale. It probably is now, but it wasn't when I got it. So these were $4.99. And then these were $3.99 a piece, and I got them for 50% off. Um, these were not over with the patriotic stuff. These were back with the ribbons. And then um, I'm going to be using my Bodabra. And I got this at Hobby Lobby um, a while back, and it was $15.99 over in the floral section. But I used my coupon on this whenever I got it, so it wasn't that expensive. Um, and then I've got some flowers that we're going to put on it. I got, I was trying, I was having a really hard time because I did tulips, but I, I didn't want the real, the flowers that just, I don't know, the old style flowers that really look fake. And I mean, I don't know, these kind of look fake too, but, um, I got the little blue roses. I thought they were real cute. And then I've got these little red ones. Now these flowers I got over where you buy them in the single, you know, they're not the big bushels because I couldn't find anything in the bushels that I really cared for. So I just bought a couple of each one of these and then I've got the white. So I thought those cute were pretty cute together. You know, if you put them like that, I thought it was kind of nice looking. And then I got, um, Oh, I forgot what they call these little things. I know what I want to call them, but I know it's not right, so I'm not even going to say it. Um, but I thought, you know, cutting some of those off and sticking them in there would be kind of cute too. And then I got my wreath that's over there, and I got it. It was $8.99, but it was half off when I bought it. So um, it's a pretty cheap you know, inexpensive wreath I'm fixing to make and hopefully it'll turn out. Okay, so now we're fixing to measure out our ribbon and we're gonna do it 24 inches long and then we're gonna fold it in half. So I'm gonna cut uh, four, eight, I'm gonna cut four of each one of these colors and then I'm gonna dovetail the end of each one of them. So I'm gonna get you turned around here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut four of each color and I'm gonna measure it out 24 inches long. I'm left-handed so I have a really hard time with scissors. When you dovetail, you're gonna fold it in half, just like that. And the easiest way for me to remember is to hold the wire side in my hand and then cut at an angle, just like that. And just cut it up. And then it makes your dovetail.
This is the Bodabra. I'm going to take this out. But as we fold them, we're going to stick each one in here. And it just holds it for us. But we're going to need a pipe cleaner. Because that's what we're going to tie it to. One of my subscribers says you could put your pipe cleaner in here first, and I didn't think about that. Maybe I need to go this way with it. Yeah. Go that way with it. Lay it in there, that way it's ready to tie. So I think I'm gonna do the blue first. So you're just gonna fold it in half. And then you're gonna measure where your six is. And kinda just bunch it together like that and then you're going to twist the back one and then it just goes in there just like that and then you go to the next one yep that's what I'm going to do fold it in half Okay, now we have it all in there. Now we've got it wrapped around there. We're just gonna twist and try to get this as tight as we can. And just twist, twist, twist. There we go. All right, so this is how it comes out. We're just going to open it all up like this. And start opening up all these bows. really think it would be cuter because all the colors on one side nope. I'm redoing it I think it ought to flip-flop colors Okay, I'm going to start over. Let's try this again. We're going to do a blue. Keep fluffing and keep fluffing and my struggles with bows. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so now I have got get this off of here. 
Now I've got it zip tied, but I don't have it zip tied tight because I'm gonna hot glue the bottom on here so it doesn't sway in the wind here. Okay guys, <clears throat> I have got this bow zip tied on here. I am having fits with this wreath. Today is not my day, I guess, to be doing a wreath. So I should be stopping before I get it any worse. But I have clipped some of my pieces and I'm gonna hot glue them on the sides of each of it. My red, white, and my blue flowers. I'm just gonna glue some on the sides, not anything fancy. Okay, I finished the wreath and I've put it on the door. I had so many fits with this thing, so I just finished it. Get a close up. So I hope you like it. Okay, guys. So you've seen the video and uh, I apologize, it was horrible. I had the worst time with that wreath that I've ever had making a wreath. Um, it was just not my day. Um, I should have left it alone and came back today and did it. But I didn't, I stuck with it. So you didn't even see the other side because I was so aggravated with it. I just wanted to get it done. So. Um, I don't know if you'd like it. My suggestion is don't use the smaller flowers. Use a bigger one that fills up more room because I think that's where a lot of my aggravation was is because I bought a smaller flower, but I just don't care for the red, white, and blue flowers to put on a wreath. So um, I did it, it's done, it's hanging on the door, and I don't even know if I'll use it for the fourth, but it turned out okay. Um, not excited about it, probably because I'm still pretty aggravated with it. So um, I hope y'all have a wonderful Friday, a good weekend, and I will see y'all Monday. Bye-bye.